dressed for spring. USA slay all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just saw a t-shirt that said, I slay all day. Ooh, happy weekend. I love sleep. I do love sleep. This is your corner. Oh, I like this. Oh, yeah. America. What does that one say? In coffee we trust. I don't like coffee. <laughs> Something wrong with you? Sorry. Oh, what you got? We're in the book section. You got a hair on you. Hold on. Oh. So first, <laughs> how freaking cute is this copy of Pride and Prejudice? It's really nice. Oh my goodness. It has the first line on the back. Does it have the last line on the front? Why would it? No. <laughs> it has some, some fun things. Oh. And then look at this. <gasps> Oh, that's really nice. I need. I'm like due for a rereading of Pride and Prejudice, and I, like, I'm really tempted to buy this copy, but I shouldn't do that because I already have it. Yeah. But that's just so cute. And then I wanted to know if anybody has read this or watched the show. How is it? Because I've heard that it's good, but I, I want to hear from you guys. I've seen the movie. You saw the movie? Yeah, the original. And. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I want to read the book first. And I was hoping that Sam's Club would have it, but the last few weeks, I've been looking out for like a month, and they haven't had it yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, should I just get <laughs> Maybe. How much is it on? This one has Peggy on the cover. I know it does. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fun. I know. Oh, you know what it is. <laughs> Petco check-in, Petco check-in. Yeah, anyway, uh, it's really hot. It's not that hot, actually. It's like 70-something, but it feels hot compared to what we've had lately. Um, it's going to be real hot tomorrow and Thursday. It's going to be like 90 degrees can't wait but at the same time i'm really hoping that we get those air conditioners in before then because if we don't um it's not gonna be as great as i'm thinking it is in my head <laughs> also it kind of sucks when it's this hot before the pool's open i wish the pool was open right now dad was kind of like dangling that over me he was like yeah i think we might take the cover off this weekend and then it'll be swimmable hopefully by memorial day weekend but now he's like backing off a little bit. He's like, I don't know if we're gonna have time. <sighs> Please, you can't just say that and then take it away. So um, I'm gonna have to do some work out there this week, scooping the leaves off the cover and just like sweeping up around the pool and stuff. So all the dirt and dirtiness doesn't get in there. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited for pool time. <sighs> it's so close. All right, I made it back. <laughs> Actually, I went and got Sean first, and now um, I'm going to show you what I got. Although some of the things have been put away already. Uh, I think just possibly the hummus. We got a nice tub of hummus with uh, roasted pine nuts. Uh, I can confirm it's delicious. Is it delicious? Yeah. Awesome. All right, so I didn't buy anything that we didn't need, right? <laughs> No extra stuff, so everything was perfect, and it's going to enrich my life. So, I got some celery. I haven't had celery in the longest time, and I miss it so much. I just love the distinctive flavor of celery, especially when I do like a stir fry or something like that. And I love the crunch that it adds for like no calories and a lot of fiber. I got some Kalamata olives because I used up all my olives and I think olives are really good for you. They're a natural source of fat and uh, they taste really good to me. Apparently they don't t taste very good to everyone since Kristen and I are the only ones that enjoy them but hello. hello. Sean's all excited he, on the way home from a uh, program he said ink magenta. <laughs> I said yes I got it. I wasn't planning on buying dates. But they were two or three dollars off. I can't uh, remember, which is a really good price because they are a good price to begin with. I think the regular price is like eight dollars, and for this size tub is inc that's incredible. And I think they were two dollars off, so they were like six and change for that size tub, which is I should have gotten two, but maybe I'll get one next week too. Some romaine. Thank goodness they had it. I cannot live without my salad every day. Skinny Pop because that's our snack of choice. Although, <laughs> this is brand new. 
Sam, look at what Sam's Club has given to me and is probably going to be taking away from me in a, in a couple of months. Yeah, don't get hooked on it. Don't get hooked is right because it's probably not going to be there anymore. Oh my god, I thought that was going to fall. Alright, so it is from Good Health. It's a pretzel with a Himalayan sea salt and it's got veggies in it. So... What is it? I can't even read what it says, but I know it's good. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on right now. But it's basically like a breadstick, which is perfect for hummus. Perfect for dipping in hummus. It's relatively low in fat. It was only 1.5 grams per serving. As opposed to the other thing that I had in my other hand, which was a non-pita chip or non-chip. I had five grams of fat per serving so I think Mark's gonna be pretty happy that I decided to get these and they are uh, vegan as well I also got some uh, premium nuts because we're all out of them so that was nice Maddie decided she's going to make the commitment and eat these Atalfo mangoes. She loves these champagne mangoes because they are just the perfect size for her for breakfast or whatnot, or snack. She always says, I'm gonna eat them, and then never ends up eating them all. So let's see if this will be the time. You guys hold her accountable for the mangoes. Right? Yeah. Okay. She said she's gonna do it. Mushrooms. Uh, Earth Balance, because they have this at Target. They don't have this at ShopRite or ShopRite. <laughs> they have it at Hanratty's, but I don't get over there too often. Um, more bananas. I got two bunches because I used up all of my bananas. Isn't that nice? Very nice. Because we've been doing the smoothie thing all day. Not all day, every day. Uh, Maddie decided to take the plunge and get the Handmaid's Tail. I think she'll be happy with it. I don't usually buy these uh, whole wheat ciabattas, but they were also reduced price, and I love them so. Uh, I'm, I really love bread. I haven't been eating a lot of bread lately, but I just love these. I'm not going to buy them every week, though. It's just a treat. Sean got his ink, of course. Maddie's guilty pleasure drink is seltzer this week. She got a cranberry lime and a raspberry lime. This is so good in lunch boxes. The Skinny Pop, um, 100 calories per bag. That is the perfect amount to have as a snack after or before lunch. So, love that. Decided that I was going to switch up the dog's food and get them some Merrick. Real lamb, green peas, Almost. and ancient grains. They haven't had this one before. But I, I wanted to give them a little bit of variety, and I think uh, I think it's a good one, and it's made in the USA. Paper towels, which I can't even remember the last time I bought paper towels. I have not used a lot of paper towels. It has it had to be months. And I bought an eight pack the last time, and it was like the crappiest eight pack. Like these look like they have a lot on the roll. <laughs> these ho these were like these. They hardly had any, and they were terrible, and maybe that's why I didn't, it took me so long to use them, because I hated them so much, but I didn't use a lot of paper towels, which is nice, because I'm not a big fan of paper towels. I feel like I'm just putting money in the garbage can. All right, now this is something that you guys saw me buy last time. The Doctors Foster and Smith have come out with a new line of uh, dog and cat food. I had some that I got free for the dogs. I think I may have used it. I may not have used it, but I got a whole bunch of these, like maybe four or five for the cats last time, and they, bless you, absolutely loved it. And it's grain-free, and they have different varieties. Uh, I can't, some were for like healthy weight, um, senior, you know. Let me see if I can... <laughs> it's so hard without glasses. Life is so hard without glasses. I think that's just regular. For any old cat. Whoops! As I drop them all on the floor. All right, maybe not all of them. Okay, all of them. Uh, this one is Healthy Weight. 
take my word for it. They have a bunch of different ones. So I got um, a few of each. And the cats absolutely love it. And it's cheaper than the uh, other premium brands of cat food. So if you guys want to try it, I, I recommend you giving it a try. I think it's a good value. All right, guys, it's that time of the month again. It's Amazon subscribe and serve, and it just happened to arrive today. <sighs> Sorry, I just ran up from downstairs. I almost made my quota for today. Um, sometimes the activity screen pops up. I gotta figure out. I'm watching a video right now on uh, becoming an expert on the Apple Watch, but it's like an hour long, and like some of the stuff I know, so I'm trying to get through it, but I don't know everything yet. Anyway, this month I got a lot of stuff and some different stuff that I don't normally get. This I always get. The oats uh, from Mark by Bob's Red Mill. He loves those. He still has oatmeal every single day for breakfast. I got these. Um, only one box. Only 12 for the month. A lot of people have been enjoying Cliff Bars. But I still get these because they're a very good price and they're great for hiking. I love something nice and crunchy when I'm hiking. I love that. I got a big two pound bag of chia seeds, organic. Um, yeah, Kristen loves that chia pudding almost every morning, unless it's not made and then <laughs> she doesn't eat it. She eats something else. Oh, thank you. Oh, look, goal achieved. I made it. <sighs> okay. I got a harissa love this stuff. It's the yellow sauce ingredient that gives it that uh, spicy-ish flavor. It's not overpoweringly spicy. It's got just enough bite, which is really nice because nobody likes to poop their pants when it's too spicy. I got some hemp hearts. I haven't bought those in a while and Mark's been getting into those lately. He's been putting them on his oatmeal occasionally. Not every single day, but occasionally. I also found the pure gum. Whoops, that just fell on Maddie's mangoes. I got the pure gum in the individual packs in spearmint, which is really nice. It doesn't have aspartame. And uh, it does a pretty good job. <laughs> Actually, the xylitol in there is supposed to halt the bacteria in their tracks in your mouth. So it actually like stops bacteria dead. I think. And I got some uh, cashews. They hadn't, they didn't have these last month, so I reordered them for this month. So I got them. That's the basis of yellow sauce. Tonight we're having mac and cheese. That's also it, what I put in it to make it creamy. I do a ricotta. I do different cheeses, cheese flavored things with uh, the cashews. So I do use them quite a bit. And they, they're raw. You have to get them raw to make the sauces. It's not going to work with the ones that are roasted. Finally got the Cliff Nut Butter Filled um, bars in. You see Maddie already busted into this one before dance because she just she just couldn't wait. She's been waiting too long already. Sean's in his pre-show, his hour pre-show uh, work up to the 7 o'clock show. So that's what you hear in the background. I apologize. Um, we got some Nooch Large Flake Nutritional Yeast. I didn't realize I just got a case of this recently. But I do go through it quite a bit. And I can... If you ever end up with too much of something or not enough, it is like so easy to adjust the Amazon schedule. And by the way, I'm not sponsored. I just really, really freaking love it. Uh, some Therabreath, because this is a really good oral rinse. It's life changing. So that is what I got for my Amazon subscribe and save this month. All right, it's dinner time, and I'm not one to toot my own horn, but oh, S. <laughs> yeah! We just watched the Jimmy Fallon video of Aaron Judge from the Yankees surprising people. It was genius. So funny. Hey, I so kind of look like him, don't I? Hey, uh, I'm Aaron Judge. <laughs> and for all you Big Brother fans, it reminded me of when <laughs> Chef Joe uh -huh. was like, we gotta get Dan. <laughs> in the dark and then Dan Giesling was like this, this is Dan, is Dan. <laughs>
It was amazing. Oh my god. I this can't looks so good. wait to see to watch you enjoy. enjoy. Look at this. Yes. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. I better see you lose your S. Alright. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Ready? I have to tell you a story to have this. Okay. Smell test? Okay. Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> it's so good! Yeah! It's really, really, really good. Did it take you to a whole nother level? My taste buds set sail on a sea of mac and cheese. Yeah! <laughs> okay. okay. It's a good one. It's a special one. Quick story. Okay. When I was leaving for class for dance. Yes. I was pulling out of the driveway. You know how you always have to do like a yeah a three point, point turn. Yeah. He says yes. So I was about to get to point three. Uh huh. And I saw that somebody was coming down the street behind me. Yeah. So I was like, oh man, I better hurry this up. So. <laughs> so then I was like moving my hand over here to turn the wheel. Mm -hmm. My other arm was in the way. And I freaking punched myself <laughs> so hard on this arm. I heard this pop. No! I, I jammed two of my fingers and I was like, yes! <laughs> like a freaking cartoon animal. Oh my god. Was the guy across the street mowing his lawn like. But he was in the back. He was already in the back. Oh, okay. But yeah, I was like, oh my god! <laughs> it was crazy. Uh. That story might not have been that exciting, but. <laughs> Did you use an expletive? I did. Oh! It was okay. the F dash 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 <laughs> word. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> it really hurt. <laughs> Alright, well I'm glad you're feeling better. Thank you. You were clearly injured. I was. <laughs> Enjoy that. Thank Whoa, you. Whoa, that is a mountain of asparagus. Oh, I know, right? I might come back for more. <laughs> Alright, go dance it off. Yeah. Jacket. Thank you. <laughs> What's that all about? Because I was laying on the sofa and it was cold. Oh. <laughs> I was drooling. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> so we're getting some dessert together. The last of the banoffee pie. Yeah. And some ice cream. It's so good. Did you want to warm this up a little bit? Yeah. How long? Mm. Like 10 seconds? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I live for that freaking Ben and Jerry's. Hold on. Yeah. Why isn't this? Oh. <laughs> okay, so it's been a pretty lovely day, I have to say. I really enjoyed today. Did you? Good. Yep, shopping and not doing a spoiler. Yeah, I had a great class tonight. Delicious dinner. Amazing dinner. We watched Victorian Slumhouse. We about to. End. Yeah, you did. Was it good? Yeah, well, I'll go back for you and dad like tomorrow or whatever, whenever we can. No, tomorrow's not good. Um, no. Another time. But we're about to watch Balloon Deck Med while we eat our dessert. So, what do you have to say for yourself? Thanks, guys. <laughs> You're awesome. It's going to be hot tomorrow. In the 90s. You gotta do some yard work before it gets really hot. Okay. I'm doing yard work tomorrow. I'm taking. I'll be doing a shower. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, and until next time, much love. <laughs>